So today the new T105 came and they were at a good resting voltage. In series when I first got them, they were at 12.5 volts, which is quite good. So we'll divide that by 2 to find out what they were at 6 volts. Now I'm charging them in parallel just now, just to get them all equalised up. And uh, charge current on them is taking a very long time to go down. Um, but this is what a new battery should look like inside. You'll probably not be able to see it very well. It's uh, quite hard to see, but it should you should be able to see nice clean light grey plates in there, and the separator should look all nice and clean. But on this thing. I took apart one of the cells and the positive plates were just mush. They were absolutely destroyed. So no wonder it's heating up when I was charging. Um, I emptied all the acid out of it and put it in the bottles. So I'll use the acid to make um, batteries with solid lead plates. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good. And these ones, which have been in the installation for um, maybe three months now, they're they're doing pretty well. Uh, check specific gravity and see if it's going up. It's supposed to be about 1.28 but because they've been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for goodness knows how long it'll be a bit lower. So we'll just let this settle. Two, five, about close to 1.27 now these are charged in parallel, they did, they did start off um, about 15 amps, they went down to 8 amps and the current is slowly dropping but it's uh, taking its time about it and that's probably what happens if batteries have been sitting for a long time but the cells in them seem all good um, I'll just test another random one yeah this one's a little bit lower so it's going to need an equalisation charge my voltage booster it broke um, it's just not working at all anymore I use this for equalising the batteries I put it to 15.2 volts so but I'll have to find a different way now because this is broken so all four of these batteries here came from the seller Alpha batteries and he's a pretty good seller it delivers quality products uh, unlike the idiot that sold me this which I've uh, kind of attacked it with a blowtorch and stuff kind of took it apart to have a look inside um, yeah not pretty this battery has been been with me for probably I don't know about a year and a half maybe and its capacity has gone up a lot it's been uh, mostly desulfating on this and um, that's uh, 6,800 6, microfarads, four of them in parallel thick 8 gauge wires in parallel with the panels and that gives really strong pulses and that helps to de keep them all desulfated this battery um, it's not the original caps as you can see I've uh, kind of put my own caps on not totally sealed because that would be dangerous Specific gravity and this is very low with it being an AGM battery and the uh, stronger acid actually been held in the glass fiberglass sponges. It was uh, when I first filled it up with water almost right to the top. The specific gravity is right in the red, but it's uh, slowly going up as acid equalizes. I was going to maybe turn the battery on its side to help the acid sort of mix but I side against it and that's a lithium iron phosphate battery I don't use it very much it's uh, in a contact soldered on it I don't know if you can hear it or not but they are gassing quite a lot so they're at 7.36 but the charger's voltage is quite inaccurate so take a voltage reading with a multimeter so the reason these were connected in parallel really because when they were in series once 
battery was actually gassing more than the other one, which means it was obviously more fully charged. Well, it was maybe from a different batch or, or something, I don't know. But they're sitting at now 7.2, something's got up to 3, 7.3, which is about uh, 14.6 volts, which is quite good. Trojan recommends that you charge them at 14.7 volts, but uh, I don't know how much this current will have to go down. If these batteries be new, they've obviously not got their full capacity yet, so I don't know. I don't want to charge them for too long, so I'll probably take them off later on tonight. So in total we have uh, 9 kilowatt hours of energy storage between these batteries. Um, approximately, but that's probably a lot less because this battery was quite old um, and a bit duff when I got it, but I reckon it's probably only got about 100 amp hours of its original 255 amp hours. So I'm not exactly sure, but these have 1.5 kilowatt hours each. 